Hello and welcome, Forex fans. It's Rob here from Exponent, here with Pax Nova Beyond the Rift expansion. And this will be a first look as I play for about an hour to kind of see how the game is and some of the new mechanics. There are quite a few new mechanics and new things that are going on in this game, including a couple new factions along with a new race. So let's go and take a look at this new race here. We've got, I think there's three new factions. All of the Veer, I believe, the Year. Yeah, the Year. Oh no, I don't know. God. Let's see. What? There. Yeah, the Tire, I guess. The Tier, Tire. So those are the new aliens here. And we'll play as one of them. We're going to look to see what the exclusive technologies are. Space boarding, boarding module, special module. Special module for ships provides a board ability, turns control of a target ship over to the Castor faction. Know, that's pretty cool. And their seal. Holding the seal with will will relations with all minor factions grow faster. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't be a Pax Nova or a Gray Wolf Entertainment game without some bugs, but we're gonna move past that. Some weird glitchiness, but that's fine. We can keep going. So holding this seal will increase relations with all minor factions, or whatever. I don't care. It looks like minor factions increased relations by 0.1 per turn so and then we have the oh these guys look cool I definitely like their look so the, the year clan holding the seal improves labor production in the capital city by two I already like that blind war blind war edict unlocks the blind war edict adds the blind war diplomatic option which makes it possible to declare war at no cost I'm already taking these guys it's going to be hard to beat them. So then we'll come to the last one here. Our seal is holding the seal gives an empire-wide bonus of plus one prosperity to its owner. That's not bad. Titan Technomancers. Titan Tech Armor. Armor for armor class units provides extra 120 health and extra, it costs 400 credits. Home Wonders. Well, we didn't look at the other ones, but we'll look at the other. Wonderful Home Edict unlocks the Wonderful Home Edict. Every natural wonder within this or within your city's borders will cause the respective city's prosperity to increase. So these are all about prosperity here then we'll come back underground temples underground temple project unlocks the underground well of course and increase the city's harmony harmony growth by 0.2 and either growth by 0.1 and it advances the path of bliss and then here the blessed hand will unlock the blessed hand edict and increases labor production so they like labor production that's definitely their thing but these guys these guys are my thing all right so labor production the capital city by two and then blind war just sounds nice so we'll go ahead and start that. We're going to do everything medium and just kickstart this game and see how it is. So now there's new weather events and all sorts of other great stuff. We're going to see it as we play. And I don't have an exhaustive list. I just sort of looked. I glanced over the stuff and I figured let's dive in and play. See what's improved. What is, you know, maybe better about this game with the expansion. And I know there's been a recent patch that hopefully has done a lot to fix some of the underlying issues. There's a lot of balance issues, in my opinion. You know, like late game infantry units were still more powerful than a lot of armor units, and that's not cool. And I don't like how long it takes on an M2 solid state drive. Okay, finally, there we go. All right. So I know that they had to leave their home planet behind. So now they're basically leaving cryostasis and landing on the planet here. All right, so we landed on a desert planet. I do like that that's in a different looking ship. That's cool. All right, so... With that, we'll go ahead and disable tutorial. I think I, I remember playing it well enough, I think. This is actually a good spot. So we've got some food. We've got actually quite a bit of food, considering that we're in the desert. And some industry spots, too. So we'll go ahead and hit it here. Uh, let's go ahead and set on reset it here. And very good. So we're going to have to reach level 3 in our founding city. And we have two unemployed citizens, so let's go ahead and put them to work. We'll put an industrial district. Actually, you know what we'll do? We're going to go ahead and put a farming district on one of these nice farming tiles. And then we'll do an industrial district 
on one of these industrial ones. There we go. And then we have no unemployed citizens. Can we buy this outright? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and buy that outright. We'll do that. And then we should have our scout. There it is. All right, let's take a look around. Oh, we have to choose research. Okay, let's do that then. So technocracy is a pretty good starting. It helps us get through this research tree pretty quickly. So we'll go ahead and start that. And we'll move our scout down over yonder. All right, go there. Oh, look at that. I do like their new look. So they got new unit looks. So that's cool. All right. Farming district is complete. And that means we should be making new people pretty quickly then. Considering how much more food we have now. Wow, we're actually going to be 12 turns before we make... Before we make... <laughs> before we produce a new citizen. Gain, I guess that's probably a better word. All right. So be it. Then once we have that going, we'll probably try to get a military district up. All right. In fact, you know what we'll do? Go ahead and set that up so that we can start to move them. We'll, uh, we'll probably put that here. Looks like a good place to do it. And so now there's also something called, I forget what it's called, but it's some sort of thing that you can, oh, you know, we'll just get to it. <laughs> or there's like some new tradable resource that's like a big deal. It's almost like the, the seals, but not quite. And so once we get to that point, I think there's like a new faction, like almost like a a neutral faction that's involved now and I don't know, we'll have to look. There we go. We don't understand you. Mr. Inbach Chieftain I is on. Never mind, I don't know what you're saying. But it's good to meet you, I guess. You definitely look more suited to the sand than I do. Alright, so what is this? Stone scales. This planetary landmark adds plus one production to all tiles adjacent to it. Might be a good place to try to grab a city expansion there. Oh, hell no. You ain't doing that. Alright, so we've got Pyrite here. Let's come back over this way. Get away from those under attack and Dionysus. What are these things called again? Iclis or Iclis. Alright, so what we could do is they're almost done with that. We'll maybe, maybe move a citizen over there for brief periods so we can start building stuff. Trade initiates, so we can do the financial district, but I also really like robot farmers, which is up over here. So we'll get to that point as well. Oh, we don't have a citizen. I do like this new icon that wasn't there before. So it's let me know that that's not inhabited, which is good. Some good things start to start all rough. I like this. All right, so what we could do is we could take a citizen away from the food briefly. Or this briefly. I think it's better to do the food briefly. Put it here. And then what we could do is drop some, maybe maybe a light tank. And we'll go ahead and build that real quick. Maybe build two of them so we can start scouting out and killing some of these bugs. And then we'll look to, you know, find a good spot. I think that spot down there with that cool resource for industry, industry will be good. So... All right, we got our tank. We're gonna go ahead and start clearing the path over here. Ooh, I like their their unit icons. That's great. Or their unit models, I should say. All right, come back over here. Let's go ahead and buy it out for one either. There we go, and just have it done. And then once that's complete, we'll go ahead and move our citizen back to the f farm here. Are they gonna make me have the citizen there? Yes, they are. They're going to make me. So I have to wait until it's... Yep, yep. I have to wait until it's produced in order to move that before... As if I don't, then it will never be finished, even though it's been bought out. Alright. Ooh, what is this? Portal to Clitonia. That's a different looking portal. I don't remember portals being like that. 
Oh, look at that. A little kamikaze mission. These bugs mean message I bring. A very powerful group from beyond this galaxy I represent. Essence shards we see. That's what it is. Essence shards. Help us, you shall. And gifts and power we give back to you, we shall. Friends we are not, but foes we are neither. Help each other out? Sure. Our current proposals are more will come, yes. Options available. S quest search for knowledge. Perform a quest for emissary, the emissary in exchange for three essence. He wants you to get a certain amount of knowledge. Quest pragmatic. He wants you to gain a certain amount of pragmatism. Generate heat wave. Heat wave is cop imagery. Generate heat within the target planet. How do I generate them? I don't know if I want to do that. Let's do the search for knowledge. Reach seven knowledge. I think we can do that. All right, so let's go ahead and send out our other light tank out this way. And now that it's complete, we'll go ahead and move these guys away and put them back over here. So we're going to take eight turns. Let's move the light tanks over here and see if we can't. Yes, that's what we want. Those guys. All right. City defense systems and then robot farmers. I think that's probably going to be my my path here. So let's do it. All right. And then let me remember. It's been a while. So it requires 10 knowledge. And we need six knowledge, I believe it was. Wow, where's the quest? There we go. So search for knowledge. Just reach seven knowledge. Okay. All right. It's going to be a while. That's fine. Uh, you want to say something to me, but you don't know how to. Okay. All right. Well, I didn't like that much. But we killed you anyways. Come over here with this guy. Yeah, so some of the, well, I guess some of the new additions are that particular emissary that we just saw. And there's also going to be weather effects. Which is cool. I don't know how they're going to affect things, but they're there. So we'll see how that's going to affect this game. All right, move units. We're gonna come over here. Can't go through, so we'll go around. And there we go, we can take out this thing. Sure. All right, and you seem to be on your way out, so let's go ahead and save you. I don't want you to die, light tank. All right, escape pod found. So I really wish there was more events because this I feel like I've gotten this every single time. Search the escape pod. Of course, it's almost always things that don't like me. <laughs> wow, they, they got me good. All right. Thankfully, I was able to take them out before they got me, but that was close. All right, search these ruins, even though... Okay, cool, we got an artifact. I forgot where that ends up being. I believe it's... I believe it's in the quest. No. Also, look, now the emissary's here. All right, so... That's pretty cool. Oh, look, I can't leave here. I can't click on other things from the emissary. Second bug we found. All right, so there we go. See current artifacts. Old bones. There's a 60% chance when this artifact is used, it could cause or can add an extra two knowledge when used. Oh, okay. Let's try. Oh, yes, there we go. We've gained two knowledge. So now we're at four. We only need three more. Let's go ahead and study the Corvus since they were the first ones that contacted us. We'll add to our knowledge there. We're more than halfway towards our goal for the emissary. Oh yes, let's do it. You're gonna die.
Oh, wow. They crushed me. Oh, that's because he was already damaged. I meant to take care of that, but I didn't. That's all right. No big deal. We can come back and build another light tank soon. Oh, imagine that. It happened again. What are those? All right, so you're fully healed again. That's good. Let's start taking some of these things out. But you, over here. Oh, nope. Never mind. Go away, please. Oh, no, I did lose it. I lost the scout. All right, so the plan will be to then... We have another assistant. Oh, one more turn. Perfect. Perfect timing. All right, take it out again. Another turn with that, and you'll be dead. Or not. <laughs> Hit lower than you did before. That's fine. All right, so then we have... We should have a citizen here now. Great, cool. So we'll go ahead and build... Let's do a, some Vanguard units. They're pretty cheap, easy to make. We'll get them to spread out and start doing some scouting. And we'll do one more light tank as well, too, I think. So build a light tank. How's our credits looking? Our credits are good, so we're good. Best offense is a good defense. All right, so we're advancing down the path of Ember, and we can now move on to the robot farmers, which I lack. All right, we've already searched that, so we won't need to again, clearly. Very good, awesome. Took that out. What is this? Levitating stone. So this is like a really good spot to do a city right here. So with that, let's go ahead and build a settler. And we'll rush it. And take the vanguard down here. And then turn. Alright, so this is my place. Don't anybody come around here. Alright, move unit. We're going to move you. Can we do it right there? I think we can. So we're going to. And we're going to try to take out those bugs that took out. Wait, no, I think I did. No, I didn't. I didn't take them out. Clearly. So, so far, gameplay doesn't feel particularly different. <laughs> I don't see much in the way of anything really changing, but, you know, provide Ethereum to the so the Citadel can improve in the health of its inhabitants. Great price. <laughs> All right, so we can earn 800 credits. Sell medical supplies. Do we have them? I mean, I guess. We don't have enough Ethereum. Oh, we need two Ethereum. Okay. Gotcha. All right, good to go. Well, we'll come back. In the meantime, we're going to find some more bugs to kill. Choose research. All right, we're going to take robot farmers because that'll help with our food production. The more citizens, the better. Then we're going to come over here and likely find more things that want to kill me. Nope. All right, or nothing. Cool. Definitely need more unit or your more event variety. I was hoping for that, but I don't see it. Hopefully there's mods. I feel like the mod scene is really small in this game, which is a shame because I feel like the mods could really do a lot to... I mean, one of some, some of my main issues with this game... Oh, there we go. Acid Rains have started on. Okay, so Acid Rains cause armor and ship types to unable, I'm unable to heal and suffer 30% more damage in combat. Wow, they're going to last from 20 turns. That is insane. But anyways, I was coming back. What I was going to say is that one of my main complaints of this game is that there isn't enough content. Like, there's just not enough variety in things. And I don't feel like this is really changing that. So that's unfortunate. Settle new city. Wait, we can't do it. Looks like it does. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Come back. Come on back. Search the shipwreck. Imagine that. It's upset with me. Another thing that I've uncovered that doesn't like me. 
And I wish I, would, I had a mini map. I really wish for a mini map. All right, we'll come back up here. Can I settle on this? Or should I settle on that? I feel like that's probably a better thing to settle on if I can settle on something. Let's try. And then you, I have a vanguard there. That's cool, let's take it out. I don't know, let's see. Uh, I will deal approximately 30 damage. Those are gonna deal 37 damage. I don't wanna do that, because it'll kill it. Come up here, and I can't actually repair it, so that's cool. And you're gonna come over there and try to hit me, aren't you? Damn you, Acid Rain. Damn you. All right, let's take it out then before it kills my other guy. There we go. All right. Heal up. And you path over that way. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. So let's move you one over. And can I? I cannot. Can I? Okay, so I can settle. It says I can settle. It should. I mean, why can't I settle it on that type of terrain? So I guess it has to be here. Let's do it. I'll tell you what, Forex fans are not f wanting for Forex games lately. There's so many of them now, including new DLC for our existing ones. I'm glad to see that they're continuing to work on this, right? Like, this game, I think, is obviously, clearly, the, the, the one of their games that feels like it has the most potential. So I'm glad that they're not abandoning it or moving on to their next project or whatever it might be. So that makes me happy. Let's go ahead and get a farming district going, and then we'll do the industrial district here. And that will add plus, okay, so I guess that added plus one to this tile, which is why it was two. Those things aren't as exciting as I thought they'd be. Those little landmarks, but they're at least something, right? Oh no. No! Oh cool, I did it. So I've searched for knowledge. The emissary is happy with our performance as a ruler. I don't know what that means. We're going to find out. Choose research. Great. So we've got the robot farmers, which is great. Pragmatic thinkers is going to allow us to do increased labor production by two. That's great. But you know what we're going to do? We're going come down this way and start doing some, maybe some armored warfare for reinforced plates. I'm going to keep hitting at this. And... I guess we'll just see. We'll deal approximately. Yeah, they're not going to win that battle, so let's not send them that way. We'll send them this way. Alright, so I want to know what happens with the emissary now that I've completed that thing. Options available. Perform a request for the emissary in exchange for three essence shards. So, wh what are essence shards, though? What can I do with these shards of its essence? A strange material that appears to be older than EOS itself, and it seems to be a special interest that can be found throughout the galaxy, particularly in space. But why do I want this? Reach five pragmatism. Plus one for this increases income in all of our cities. Cost three influence, which we can do. We can also do this too. It has a duration plus one authority. Increases labor production in all of our cities by three for twenty-five. We don't have enough influence. That only costs three, I thought. Or is it three per city? Gotcha. Alright, that's right. I forgot. It's been a while since I played. I'm being reminded. All right, so the farming district is complete. We've got a new citizen. Leadership change is now available. Oh, let's see what that's all. Oh, that's. Let's see what change leadership is. All right, so we can do heavy-handed or technocratic. I think we're gonna go technocratic. 
Requires two pragmatism. We don't have two pragmatism, so we don't. We're not able to do that. Buy little alien spider things. All right, so we'll. Oof, man. Am I? Hmm. We'll deal approximately twenty-three damage. We'll deal. Yeah, we'll. We'll just move away. And we'll heal up here. Hi. My last game. I do remember this. Kind of kicked your butt. I oh, did. For some reason, he really rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> oh no! No! All right. So, battle engineers, sunstorm phaser, ray damage weapon for ground class units deals seventy five percent or seventy five damage and costs eighty credits and one osium. I don't have any osium, although I have titanium there, and there is ethereum. So I could actually extract that. So we'll get an extraction district. You can't extract this type of strategic resource yet. Okay. Well, let's find out where I can go to do that. Mega Labs. Hmm. We'll go to Armored Warfare, but... I'm trying to remember where I would go. Oh, there it is. Ethereum. Boom. And my light tank is going to come back over here and try to take out this thing before it regenerates. Man, they really need to do something about the combat sound effects. They sound so pathetic. <laughs> it's just, like, not what you expect. They're going to deal 20 damage. I'm going to deal 28 and kill them. Okay. That's good for me. All right, and then heal up. Something new we bring. Like it, yes. Generate heat wave. Destroy planet. Destroy the target planet completely and with it every city and living inhabiting. Oh, my God. Uh, generate heat wave and it just becomes summon a snowstorm in the target planet. I, I want to know how I do that. How do I summon a snowstorm? Is that like late game stuff or what? It doesn't tell me how I can summon a snowstorm. Hmm, they got me. All right, so this city is growing in four turns. It will need some sort of military district. All right, come on down here. Let's do this. In turn. All right. Hi. I'm selling medical miracle to whomever might be interested. One either is the going rate. Seems like a good deal. We accept. Which means I can now exploit this then. So extraction district. Awesome. And let's Yes, there we go. Alright. Boom. 20 turns is a long time to have like some sort of status effect. Especially when it's pretty de I mean like super detrimental to tanks. All right, so let's go ahead and actually change out our light tanks now with reinforced plates. Oh, they're already there. Okay, and then fusion shells, but we'll put shark shells. That's what I'm talking about. All right. And then retrofit this for 195 credits. Yes, please. Choose research. All right, so we have medical miracle, hospital quarters. Let's come back down here. So phasers. 
Photon Pulse Rifle. Deals 70 damage and costs 60 credit to build. That's not much at all. Let's go ahead and get some of those guys on. Citizens of Chayim are ecstatic, so they're now level 3. Main quest creatures from a Vermian nest close to Chayim are roaming around, so let's find out where that nest is. How come it doesn't show me? Oh, I did not mean to do that. So, let's see. There it is. All right. We'll bring you all the way down here then. Mush. Mush. All right. There we go. Advanced path. Awesome. So, we now have the chance between our choice between give us the charismatic trait, improving affinity with other factions by three, increase prosperity in all of our cities by plus one for 60 turns. This is a permanent bonus. I'm always about permanent bonuses over temporary ones. All right. We'll zoom out, see what we're doing here. How is everybody doing in relation to us? So. Uh, let's see how they're doing. So they got two planets. They've got six might or six knowledge and four might. Nine knowledge. What do we have? We have ten knowledge. Awesome. I was about to say crap. We have one might. We're powerful. One knowledge. I feel like these guys are like ripe for the killing. I'm going for them. Where are they? Where are you? I'm going to find them, take them out, take their city, take their soul. All right. Come on down here. The Templar order have changed. So great. We no longer have their stupid acid rain. It looks cool, but it sucks. All right, so we're actually two people here now. We have a citizen who's not, or no, yeah, an idle citizen. So we'll go ahead and put them, put the military district here and start building more stuff here along with the stuff that's going to be start building, building here. So we now can do shock troopers, but we don't have any OCM, do we? Huh, all right, well, we need OCM. Let's build a couple light tanks since they're cool and powerful now. And we'll get on out of here. Okay. Why can't I right click out of here? Get I still can't do that. It's almost like no one cares about what I think. I can't right click out of that. That's so dumb. Oh God. Everything else you can right click out of. This is my biggest complaint about gray wolves. They don't really understand quality of life things and they don't go back and look at quality of life issues. And the problem, problem is that like not enough people are complaining because not enough people are playing the game. But you'd think that they'd watch videos and like, you know, look for feedback, especially when it's frustrating. <sighs> All right, so Road to Era 2. I forget what's Era 2. What are we excited about in there? Oh, space exploration. That's right. So maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. All right, let's go ahead and... We do, we've done phasers. What is Death March? Class A armor for ground class units provides a 15 extra, extra health. That sounds cool. Although this is deals 70 damage and this is deals 65 damage. But it's a kinetic damage. I don't know if that's different. Pulse damage. So their like unique thing is actually worse than something you can get immediately. I don't really like that. I don't like it. Alright, so let's kill this thing. What do we have here? Industrial fertilizers. It unlocks the industrial fertilizers farming district improvement. District needs to be adjacent to an industry district. Okay, we'll take that. But we're also going to come back. I forgot now that we've got our farming. We can do... Oh no. We need Ermacola. 
or, or Miyakata, I guess. We'll do the industrial... Oh, that sucks. I didn't realize I needed Ermia Kata. I don't remember that being the case. Well, that sucks a big one. I kind of beeline for that so that I can increase my food production and I can't even use it. Pyrite, Ethereum, Titanium. I don't believe there's actually... I think there's a way to see. So look at this, we're second for transcendence. We're second for that, we're first in our score, that's good. But Ermia Kata's not even on this planet, I don't believe. Hmm. Can I buy it? Nope. All right, whatever. All right, let's find out where red is. Go auto explore. Find out where that that pseudo night looking son of a bill is. You have been invited to speak to at a huge charity event, the President Forest. See, I like the more of these would be great. Like this is the kind of stuff that the game should have, right? Like to feel more flavorful. Advances path of Gaia. Wonder where we are on all these paths. I should be able to look at that. We should. I'm going to talk about stamping our path. Stomping our path? Stamping our path? I don't know. So the first one would give us sea defense or increased damages to all creatures. I want that. Mm. Alright, you take this out. Come on. I think this will finish it off. Yes. All right. Oh, cool. We've gotten to the Path of Ember. All right. So chapter four, the scientist, a body was found inside the nest remains, along with a communication device that appears that the deceased was a researcher from the Citadel of Morris investigating the phenomenon. Fire and inquire the Citadel. Okay. So it's over here. That's good. Let's come and talk to them. Do I need to talk to them like that? Or can I just talk to them here? Make a donation. That's a great question. I don't know. I guess I have to send yeah, I guess I have to send somebody there. So let's choose being more damaging against the aliens. Collective is no stranger to struggle, but in this new age I see no reason to repeat another downfall. In order to avoid it, I'd like to petition you for two hundred credits. Eh, I'll help you. Only because I want the reds to die. No, I don't want anything from you. I didn't mean to click on you. I was just trying to look for the stupid red guys. There we are. All right, cool. You know what? Don't come down there. We're going to come over here. We're going to wage war. All right, so where is the one that was actually... Nope, get out of here. Come on down here. You are going to come down here as well. And then when I start building a couple of those new... Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, you're going to try to foil my plans here, aren't you? What are those things? They're new. And they're pretty mean. Alright, so with that, let's go ahead and design a unit. A light infantry unit with... So, like I said, look. It's effective against creatures. However, it's ineffective against armor units. This is equally effective against all unit types. So literally... There's no reason to take this. A brand new technology, and it's literally worthless. I don't know how frustrated I frustrated like I don't know how to tell you how frustrated I am by that. That's dumb. It's really frustrating. Like I don't even understand why you'd do that. It's a brand new unit, and it's obsolete literally the second you get that, which you could do at the same time. You can do it before you even get that. I did it. 
I got that technology before I even got the race specific technology. Oh, please tell me you didn't die. Okay, good. I meant to look to see what those were. Never seen them before. Those little silver beings. Come on down. Come and join the, the war, the eventual war. Light infantry, you can do the same. Come on. Alright, so let's actually see if I can do another edict. I can pass this again. Yes. Now I have two, and I can change my leadership to technocratic. Requires one liberty. Nope, I don't have one liberty. Liberty, liberty, liberty. Cost. Wait, so let's go ahead and pass this. This will gain three liberty and advance the path of Gaia. Oh, okay, maybe not. I lied. All right. We'll come back up here. You know what? We'll start building stuff here since we're closer. Light infantry. Go, 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 go. We can rush it with some either. We'll attack. Alright. I don't like these guys. Light tank's going to deal 66 damage. It's going to kill them. Let's kill them before they even attack us. What? Gained under mind control status? <laughs> Not fair. Alright, come on down. You come on down too. Does that mean it just doesn't move? I forgot. Makes you unable to move or attack. Status will last four turns. Super cool. Love that status effect. Doesn't look like they're really defending this base, but maybe, maybe I'll be wrong. Something new, we bring it, like it, yes? I don't know how to generate anything, so quest brother in arms, perform a quest for the emissary in exchange for three, he wants you to sign an alliance. I'll make it happen. You just watch. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna be like, hey yo, Chieftain Ayazan, let's make it happen. What do you want from the collective? Well, we'd like to declare friendship. Cost five influence. I'm not doing that. We have a proposal for you. We sign an alliance. And we'll also give you stuff. So we'll give you, we offer 100 credits, maybe 500 credits. And offer one either. Maybe two. What do you think of that? You don't like that at all. All right. That's fine. Maybe later, once you've come to your senses, All right, you go ahead and chill. Bring these other ones down here, too. You chill here. Come on down. Chill, and it should be only another turn, right? Yep, good. Then we have another one. Great. So, guess what? Ashkanda. <laughs> so, uh, we would like to declare war. Not enough influence. I thought I could do it freely with the... Surprise, whatever it was called. What was my stupid... Never mind. Go back. I thought I could do this for free. What's my seal do again? Holding the seal improves... Oh, wait, that's the other one. No, there was a thing. I like a trait that meant that I could just declare war. Hmm. Could have sworn that was the case. Like a shadow war, whatever it was called. What do I know? Alright. Alright, so... Let's actually see how much it is to declare war. Six influence. 
We'll just sit outside your city forever and build all our forces. Hackers contacted us. Oh, yes. They managed to hack the Templar order. We'll accept it. I like it. It's literally exactly who I wanted to piss off. Alright. Well, maybe we can build another somebody. Oh, wrong spot. I keep doing that and I don't mean to. I have one Ethereum, so I'm almost possible, or almost at the point I can do that. Rush it with two Ethereum. Oh, this seems like a great deal. I do like that there are new unit models here. So you can tell immediately that they're the new alien force there. So, all right, you come on over here. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Send delegation. I don't get it. I'm supposed to do something with these guys. It doesn't let me even go in there. So scientist, body was found inside. We refer to it as the Rift. And more importantly, we believe this device is key to access. We should inquire of the leadership of Morris and get more information. Find and inquire. What is it? find and inquire? I'm here. Bribe politicians, inquire Citadel. There we go. We have to make them happier. I'm not spending money as I am. I'm doing it. I just did it. Send delegation. I don't want to do that because I want to use my influence to declare war. <laughs> I don't care about your language. I'm going to murder all of you. Let's move in. Let's do it. Go, go, go. Wait, is that... Whose tank is that? Inbox Collective. I don't need them. Alright, let's bring them around. Since it looks like that's the best way. Alright, move units. Alright, bring it over here. I don't really like the terminology inquire. Maybe like, I don't know, establish contact, inquire, citadel. What the hell does that even mean? Someone with an English, like a strong command of English needs to play this game and fix it. There's a lot of weird English. Oh, really? It's like that. Well, this is like this. So, how about that? And then you can come over here. And start attacking that. That's it. That's what I say. It's all of you. Actually, let's go ahead and heal you. We'll bring you down here quickly before anybody else moves in that spot. Fire away. Annex the city. That's right. You're mine. Assimilate. So I need eight influence. To actually assimilate this place. Alright, well, I guess we're waiting again. It wasn't hard. You didn't put up much of a fight. We have two unemployed citizens. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a research district here. Nope, can't do that. Doesn't like it being on the ocean, even though it's clearly a spot that I can supposedly put something. So that's one of my citizens. Then we have another citizen up here, so we could do financial district. How much are we making in money? We accumulate 143 credits per turn. My God. All right, you know what we do? The growth is stagnated, so let's go ahead and build a farming district there. And then we'll keep going from there. So you will stay there. And then, you know what, you're going to come over here, and I think there was... Yeah, there it is. We're going to kill that thing. Good. All right. Let's keep exploring over here now that we've... Oh, they've got another city. 
You thought you could hide it. Uh, sorry for you there, Templar Order, whatever you're called. You're dying today. Uh-oh. You're going to take out my tank, aren't you? You did not. Now I'm upset. And now you're going to die. How is that happening? Why did you do so much damage? All right, come over here quickly, please. All right, Road to Era 2, so let's do space exploration. Build a spaceport and start getting out of this place. All right, so we built what we wanted to build, which is good, but now we're gonna come over here and heal. Heal up. And you come over here. Have you already yep, you've healed? So let's keep going down over here. I thought I had more. There they are. Coming around. Awesome. So the second one should fall pretty soon too. Except what is that? What what do you have there? What is that? I don't like this. Light tank? Oh, it's unique looking. I don't remember them all having unique units. Maybe that's new. Let's fire at this thing. Yikes. I did hit him pretty hard though. A lot harder than I expected to. Let's hope they attack my light tank instead of my people, but I'm pretty sure that, ooh, I don't know. Nope, it did attack my tank instead of the persons that it could have killed. Thank God for dumb AI. All right, you, yeah, you're a better need over here. Actually, no, you're not. You're probably not gonna be needed at all. Let's see how it goes. Attack that again, and then you can come over here and we'll attack. No, come over here. Let's go ahead and search the ruins. Awesome. Ancient device. What is that going to be? So let's look to see what that's going to be. Ancient device. Is there 65% so this artifact could add 40 resource production to our current resource? Wow. I like that. That might be enough to get us through and finish that up. Yes. So now it's done next turn. Ooh. What are you doing? Don't hit me. I don't like you hitting me like that. All right, so warp travel. Allows our ships to travel across the galaxy using warp gates. Capital ships. Industrial evolution, I do like the idea of that. And we can use pyrite, though I don't know we have any reason for pyrite right just yet. Explosive damage for our ship class units. Well, let's go ahead and do... I think we should do warp travel so we can actually build a ship. Do we have anybody? Nope, nobody's available yet. Awesome. Finish that off. Yeah, you might take that out. Oh, cool. So, new enemy types. So I don't remember those things, whatever they were called. Wow, I can't believe that tank is still alive. Annex the city. That's right. Get out of here. Assimilate, it's gonna take eight influence still. I think I feel like once once you've destroyed a faction, it shouldn't shouldn't need to assimilate it anymore. That's just me, though. Doesn't really make sense. There's no... I mean, like, what are you assimilating? They're gone. All right, come over here and heal. And we'll move you over here and see if there's any more of these bugs. And now we could probably use our... Make a donation here. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, we... Can't. 
We can send, yes, we can send a delegation. Oh, we have to, we can't do it at all. We have to wait four more turns because evidently you can't just make people like you quickly. All right, you, since you're at five, you're gonna go ahead and heal up. You're at 65, we'll have you heal up and then we'll start looking around. All right, you can go ahead and just explore. Ooh, Lugan has leveled up to level five. Look at that. All right, so I feel like we're doing really well. Let's look over here and see. We're still number one in score victory. We're number four in science victory. I'm not a big fan of that. We've dropped some. We've got the first seal, which is cool. So, prosperity in cities controlled by the holder of the seal won't be affected by unemployment. Okay, cool. That's good. All right, you can just stay here. You can also explore. We'll finish up the exploration of this planet before we roll out. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to accept that. An extreme group is been growing at a fast pace and their notoriety is starting to scare a lot of people as their rhetoric is, vi rhetoric is violent and many of their members are considering considered very dangerous condemn the rhetoric and say you expect rational thought to prevail i like that so we should come back actually and change our leadership style now that we can you don't have enough liberty that's bull all right we can do this now right yes we can now we can change it Change leadership. We're technocratic. All right, so. Well, we're nearing the hour mark, and I have to admit, like, the gameplay doesn't feel all that different, and I still don't even have any idea what the emissary does. Like, that's cool. I've got essence shards, but what do they even do, right? The fact that there's new models and stuff, that's cool, but, like, the main thing, the main concern I had about this game was the lack of content. You know, the lack of event variety, the lack of, like, things that just happened to make this game feel like it had a soul, and none of that has been addressed. So, I'm a bit concerned still, because even with this expansion pack, which does provide some new content in the form of new weapons and stuff like that, and new, like, items and technologies and stuff like that, and new weather events, and of course new factions. I don't really see anything else that's really like making this game feel any different. I mean, the, the, the weather effect was all right, I guess, but it actually was kind of more of a pain in the ass than it was cool. And that's, that's disappointing. I mean, I gotta be honest. I just, I want, I wanted something more. I want, I want, I want like an events pack. I want like, 40 new events to happen so that it you know some of that starts to feel less stale and less repetitive and you know I, I think that the majority of what i was concerned about that i've you know have made clear in previous videos and previous conversations about this game has not been addressed and that's you know it's just it's this game that's like it's pretty it's solid right there's nothing I can really complain about in the way that it plays other than the fact that there aren't enough events and content and so on and so forth. But like gameplay mechanically, like other than the fact that infantry is broken, like some of the balance between units is broken. And I mean, even now with this new faction that I have and it's, it's race specific tech and that weapon that it was going to provide for my infantry being actually worse than the same level of weapon you can get from research through any other race is just not cool. Like the fact, I mean, like just as a kind of a review of that, you can get death March, which is a, I guess it's either a race or a faction specific tech that gives you kinetic damage dealing 65 damage, but then you can get phasers. So why would I even worry? Like, why would I even bother with that? Class A armor, armor for ground class. Like, okay. 
but just having like a new or like a specific set of weapons for a specific faction or alien race that doesn't even compare to what everyone else gets is just not what should be happening. So I don't know. I mean, I've been playing this for some time now. I'm going to leave my final thoughts for maybe another 10, 15 hours of play. Then I'll come back and I'll do a video of that final thought process and maybe, you know, show you a late game and then kind of provide you some with some more insight as to where I think this game, this expansion pack has really landed. And, you know, I mean, I just initial thoughts, initial impressions really aren't too great in that the gameplay itself, some of the issues, some of the shortfalls that Pax Nova had haven't been addressed. So that's disappointing. I want to like this game. I really do. So I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to play through this whole game and I'll come back in a couple of weeks and let you know, maybe less, I don't know, and let you know what I think with, with how things have shaped up here and where I think the game needs to be improved and where I think the strengths are at this point. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching this first look at Pax Nova's Beyond the Rift expansion. And, you know, there's still some, some things that I haven't really touched on yet. I'm sure there's probably still some gameplay mechanics that I haven't found yet that have been added. But as of now, you know, even with the fact that the emissary doesn't, it doesn't tell me anything. To, what, 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 what's going on with these essence shards? I have no idea. Do you, I mean, like, yeah, I'm giving them, to, I'm getting them, but what am I doing with them? Why does it have to be so opaque? <sighs> I want better. I want better for Pax Nova. Pax Nova could be something cool, but right now Pax Nova feels like it's just kind of treading water for me. So I'm hoping that changes. Anyways, stay tuned. Like I said, I'll have something with uh, another 15 hours or so of gameplay to kind of provide you my final thoughts on where this game is. And until then, this was Rob from Explominates. Keep exploring.